What you should take into account when buying a cow. When buying a cow, the cattle producer must analyze the part of the hips, because the ends of the bones must be strong and as wide as possible, the selection of a good cow is directly related to herd productivity. To be able to detail a cow, the first thing to leave aside is the eagerness, look at it from the front, analyze the line of the heart, in other words the width of the chest. Remember that organs are contained in the chest, therefore it is necessary for the bovine to have a strong heart, so that the cow can produce a liter of milk, 400 liters of blood must be pumped, the cow must be deep, that is to say that the distance between the end of the chest and the cross is extensive. The rib. Look at the cow from the side, in order to be able to analyze the volume, since this is expressed in the area of the ribs, it is desirable that the ribs are wide and convex, and not straight. The volume allows the bovine greater capacity for food storage. It must be taken into account that a bovine transforms everything it eats into milk. What is sought is that it be similar to the shape of a barrel. The cow, from the point of the hip, reaching the ridges, must be like a wheelbarrow, in other words, it must be square in the rear, because if it closes below, problems will arise, for example, no there is the capacity to store a voluminous udder, and the vulva will be small, which increases the chances of complications at the time of delivery. In short, the width of the top should be equal to that of the two hawks. Strength The issue of dairy temperament must be accompanied by strength. It is well known that dairy cows are bony and emaciated, but these cows should not be coarse or thin, rather strong. Do not confuse strength and vigor with a rough cow. Semiandrogen bovines have a high male hormonal load, which consequently blocks the development of the mammary gland. In the subject of the triangular secret, the cattle producer must apply the eye well. This is formed between the floating rib, to the tip of the eschion, and very close to the flank, that triangle demonstrates the bodily capacity of the cow. The loin has to be straight, which is known as the strength of the back. That part is what supports the frame of the bovine. For this reason, it cannot be pando or arched. The back of the cow starts from the nape of the neck and reaches the detachment of the tail. The udder, when buying a cow, the udder is not observed, it is detailed. The first step is to carry out an irrigation with the objective of analyzing that the veins sprout around it. The udder should not hang down, rather it should have a strong grip. This is provided by two tendons, which start at the crotch, and are detached near the vulva. Do not leave out the hocks, it must be round and well-shaped, the teats must be straight, and not excessively large. Another aspect to evaluate in the udder is that it should not be greasy. At the end of the milking, the udder should be like a soft glove, like fine silk paper and sheets, that is, a greased udder has no capacity to store milk. The dairy cow must be female, and not male-like. Other details. The hooves are the most important thing of any bovine, since in some cases the cows spend a good part of their time walking, to obtain food. The hooves must be healthy and without defects, that is, they must allow the cow a firm footing. The topic of the hooves is very important, because if they deteriorate, the cow will walk less, and stop eating, lose weight and immediately get sick, then it goes from being a productive bovine to a burden for the cattle producer. The nostrils must be very round and wide, with the aim that it can absorb a good amount of air and fill its lungs to bursting. The jaw must be strong and large, this is because of the appetite issue. A dairy cow must suffer from gluttony. The cow's eyes have to be bright, which denotes good health. The hair must be shiny, short, and silky. A cow consumes 10% of her live weight. If the cow is dairy, she should be supplemented. Milk production demands large amounts of calcium. It is important to remember that cows locate this element not only in pastures, but also in the supply, which is provided daily. The lack of calcium in the cow translates into accelerated aging. 